well, some acknowledgments to start. Uh, I guess a thanks to both sides in terms of the contract discussions, both to the Teamsters and CN for the tentative agreement. We hope it can be ratified and uh, it can be business as usual. Thanks also to the uh, to Minister Leach and the Minister of Agriculture federally, uh, uh, Minister Ritz from Saskatchewan, who was uh, who I think was pretty helpful yesterday as well. Uh, you know, obviously we want to uh, allow the collective bargaining process uh, at any table to proceed as it should. Uh, but a strike right now is just unacceptable for the reasons that you've mentioned. We have a very, very serious challenge facing our economy in the West, and specifically the grain economy, uh, because we simply uh, can't get uh, the, the grain moving the way we, we need to get it moving. So a strike now would not have been on, and, and uh, you know we, we sent the letter as soon as we heard about the strike notice, 72-hour notice yesterday. I was speaking at the Ag, uh, Agriculture Summit in Saskatoon, and right after that we heard the news and we sent the letter immediately to the minister and you know there was that response so we're uh, we're grateful for that again and grateful to both sides for the tentative agreement well one final thing john it's very important now that the rail companies themselves deploy whatever resources they need uh, to get the grain moving we're hearing of a uh, you know the locomotive locomotive shortage potentially is part of the issue personnel shortage part of the issue the rail companies need to respond and we've said to our to the federal minister uh, ritz that we would support uh, any action the federal government has to take uh, to get the grain moving. Of course, it's potash. It's a number of other uh, resources we have to move as well. But grain right now is the principal concern, I think. But you've been talking, uh, and we've all have, of course, uh, absent Keystone XL and pipelines. You know, 20 percent of Saskatchewan's oil is now moving by rail. Uh, overall gr- uh, car allocation, you just have to look at a train and see the amount of oil that's moving uh, you know, from Alberta and other parts of the place. But even Jerry Ritz talking about about uh, the need for transparency in the railroads. Uh, you know, they, they get asked for X number of cars, only Y are spotted, uh, and nobody seems to know uh, why cars aren't arriving. We need that transparency. And again, we've said to Minister Ritz, we support whatever the federal government needs to do vis-a-vis the railways to get these answers, and, and better than that, to get a plan of action. He's got a he's got a long-term uh, review going, and he's doing the short-term work. We know that uh, Minister Ritz has been meeting with the companies. Our own agriculture minister, Lyle Stewart, has been in direct contact with them. We need to have the grain handling agencies also to be uh, front and center. And, uh, uh, you know, there's some, some questions around uh, uh, some pricing there around the, what, you know, what's known as sort of the basis uh, piece around the, the grain handling. So we need to make this a priority. I'm, I'm hoping that the new West provinces... Alberta, Saskatchewan, and British Columbia, uh, when we meet here this spring, can also make logistics a big priority. John, some very good news out today on, on the export front. We actually broke our own export record from 2012. 2013 is a, uh, shows exports 4.6% higher, uh, so we broke our own record. Uh, we were ahead of British Columbia 212. We're tied with them this year, and uh, the folks at the Trade Export Partnership tell me this morning that we'd actually be ahead of BC again, except for logistics. We've got to get this right. We have a great story happening in our economy here and in Western Canada in general, but we've got to get our, our goods to market, uh, and it's got to be sort of all of the above, all hands on deck, all the stakeholders in the logistics system making this the priority that it needs to be. Is there any direct uh, involvement or intervention or money, quite frankly, that provinces can kick in on rail logistics? Well, I, I think that's going to be part of the long-term discussion. I really do. Uh, we've said all along that when it comes to that Asia-Pacific gateway infrastructure, we support both federal investment and we would we'd look at a regional investment as well. That might well be on the agenda when the new West uh, provinces meet. Again, that's that's to have provinces in the West, Saskatchewan, Alberta, and D.C. Uh, we've created that free trade zone in, the, in this region, but we also want to work together on issues like this. You know, the, the issue of provincial resources, federal resources, and then the issue of pipelines, I think, will be front and center. Because you, you mentioned it a, a, a moments ago, John, if we, if we have less oil on the rail and more oil in a pipeline, or more than one pipeline, both Think about Gateway, Keystone, and the West East proposed pipeline. That's obviously going to provide a bit of capacity relief on the on rail. Premier Bradwall, before I leave you, supporters of the uh, now uh, no longer monopoly Canadian Wheat Board have said, if we had the Wheat Board, we would have better allocation of grain cars. How do you respond? 
I, I have a hard time with the argument. You know, I, I, I'm aware that there's a bit of a differential right now between what our farmers here are getting and what, what a North Dakota farmer is getting. And the advantages to the North Dakota farmer because they're moving grain uh, in, a, in, a, in a more efficient way. Uh, and they, are, they, of course, have never had the single desk. I, I just think that's a, a pretty oversimplistic discussion. What we have is a record harvest. Uh, inspiring with uh, uh, more traffic on the rail with uh, in terms of oil, as you referenced, more commodities in general from the West, and terrible weather. We have these uh, prolonged periods of cold weather, which which I'm told shortens the length of trains. And so uh, I, I think it's a bit of a reach to blame this on, um, on marketing freedom. Premier, good having you by. Uh, we'll talk again soon. Thanks for your time, John. Premier Brad Wall, we find on the road, uh, wanted to get a quick snapshot on the state of grain handling and uh, what is known in the biz as logistics.